So you're going to start out by setting up your still life, make sure it won't fall apart, and then you're going to look at the shapes you see. I see a lot of circles and ovals here, but instead of just drawing circles and ovals, I'm going to really, really look at what is in front of me, spend most of my time looking at those fruit and less time actually looking at my paper, and I'll be able to get more accurate shapes then. Then I add some water to my watercolors. That'll help soften them up. And when I add color to this still life painting, I'm gonna do the same thing I did when I was drawing. I am going to really focus on the colors I actually see and not what I think I see. So I know that oranges are orange, but there's a lot of variation within these oranges and I'm really going to notice that. And then with my apples, we know that apples are red, right? Well, these apples have some different colors in them. You can see there's a little bit of a yellow green in there and the red has some dots in it. And so I'm going to look while I'm painting as much as I can to try to capture some of that. The other thing is you will see things that are not the apples and oranges themselves, but caused by the light. There'll be lighter areas and so the easiest way to do this is to start with a lighter wash of watercolors. So don't try to bring in all your dark colors first, but do your lighter colors first. This is my second layer you can see. So it's, you have to kind of let it dry a little in between. So if you have a couple different fruit, you might let one dry while you're working on another one and then come back and work on the other one. Just be careful of edges. You can use a tissue to dry off your brush so you can do more with it with texture. And if you have any mistakes on the paper, you can use a little tiny bit of tissue to wipe it up gently. Now for the background, you want your fruit or your still life to be mostly dry when you do this so it doesn't all blend. Then you're going to just be careful of the edges you kind of do a little bit more carefully at the intersection between the fruit and the negative space here, which is the background. I'm doing just a wash of color. If you wanted to make it into something or show uh, the surface that your fruit or still life is on, that's great too. I just find it's kind of fun to do it this way. And I'm just gonna add a few more details to this fruit to finish it out. I didn't think that the lines between the fruit were quite clear enough, so you don't have to actually do lines around your fruit, but you can choose to if you think it will help the way they look. So that's kind of up to you. Just add a few more details and there we go.